Hey guys, this is the Revolving Battle Fox here, and before you ask, no, I do not have my laptop back permanently. Uh, I took it in because the fan was loud. The guy said he tried to fix it before ordering a, a repair pl replacement. It's quiet right now, but it, it has been on and off, making louder noises than before. He told me that... If I, if I bring it in, he'll just go ahead and order another replacement. So I do intend on sending this laptop back in the near future. Probably uh, this week, maybe. But um, I wanted to go ahead and get this video out the way before I send it back and before the, la the uh, ah, can't talk. laptop fan uh, starts to go crazy again. Right now it's alright, but I have no idea when it will make strange noise again but anyways I wanted to go ahead and do another video on how I choose which cosplay conventions I want to go to and this one is history as you may have saw in my title now this this is a uh, one I kinda thought of at the last minute in a way and it's probably the least important yet the most important in my list how you may ask? Well, let me explain. When I mean history, I don't necessarily look up the convention, the conventions about me section or the history FAQ section and specifically look for when this convention started, first started, or if this is a new convention or not. Don't get me wrong, I do, but it's not a de defining factor in the sense that for example, Akon, which takes place in Texas, according to Wikipedia, Akon is the longest running uh, convention that is primarily focused on anime. And it first ran in the 90s, 1990. I wasn't even born in 1990. I was born in 1992, so that convention, oh, that convention is older than me. Someone told me I should go to it one time before taking on Anime Expo, so storing that little fun fact out there, but I told them the bigger the better. In my opinion, that's not always true, but Anime Expo was my first uh, cosplay convention I, I intended on going to, and I wanted to do like the biggest one. How does this tie in with this? It doesn't really necessarily tie in. I just wanted to add that. <laughs> but, any, but anyways, back to Akon. So Akon is like the, the oldest one in North, North America or the United States. And it started in 1990, but I don't really have a strong desire to go to that one. So that's an example of how the history isn't that important to me in that sense. Because I'm not looking at, oh boy, it's the oldest one in, in America. I'm, therefore, I'm going to go to it because it's the oldest one. Nah. For me, it doesn't work like that. I think it's cool and I like seeing the history. But just because it's the oldest doesn't mean I automatically want to go there. Now, if somebody wants to pay for me to go there, that's a different story. But if I have to, like, raise the funds all by myself, then no. Now, on, on the flip side, I don't necessarily look at a con that says, oh, this is his first year. I'm not going to go, or, oh, this is the second year, I'm not going to go because it's too new. However, however, being a new con, although it does have some benefits of it, like saying saying 20 years or 5, 10 years down the line, hey, I went to the first, it's first ever convention when it gets big, although, the, although there's a benefit of that possibly, there are a lot of drawbacks. And there, it's not necessarily bad, but a lot of the drawbacks will typically encompass everything that I look for in determining which conventions I want to go to. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, I'll read down the list of uh, all the videos that I either made or will make about this topic of how I choose which conventions I want to go to. And that's location, price, genre, community, hotels, VIP passes, popularity, programming, YouTube videos, and days, and of course the history. Now, not all of them necessarily relate 
But if you're just starting off and you're and you don't have that many people, if you have like less than 500 people or like in Akon's case, three, I think it was like Wikipedia said 380 people that attended their first con in the in 1990s or in, ni- in 1990. So yeah, that con, I think several thousand people attend. I'm not sure of the numbers exactly, but it's it's a lot. It's a far cry from uh, the 380 people. So as a con, even though a con is small, as it gets bigger, of course, things are going to change. I've seen cases where the locations have changed. Maybe not to a different state, even though th- that can apply to in some cons cases, or they might have two cons on like the east and west coast with the same name but you have things like uh, the price obviously the price point is gonna get jacked up due to inflation and probably due to the number of people that wants to go and you know the the location might change because they might have to have a bigger venue uh as more people come the genre might expand what may have started out as video games or anime may expand into video games and anime and pop culture and comics and whatever stuff like that um steampunk trekkie stuff as far as the community yeah now that we have groups like facebook groups and uh, reddits the community will likely not be there for the first couple of years of a big con unless it's in a popular place like new york or california but even so as a the first con becomes and gets the second become uh, turns into the second con and so on and so on. The community will grow, which is something I I look for, and that's one of the big things I look for when I'm choosing which conventions to go to. And of course, of hotels, the first year or two they might not have hotels. It might just be a small day one con or or one uh, one day con or whatever. So, but of course, when you get more people and the history involves, and like I said, the, well, I can't talk this morning. It's, it's like 6.33 in the morning. Just bear, with, bear with me. So yeah, when you get more people, obviously they might include hotels with their discounts or give hotel discounts for staying. And at first, it, if they have, they might not have VIP passes. As the days go on and as more cons become popular, they, they might offer that at certain cons. I wish they offered that at all conventions, but sadly they don't. And of course, with popularity, as the popularity increases, all the other stuff can increase and change. And with the programming, you got more people coming, you have more days at it, therefore you have more programming. You have more programming and events to go to. You might have more money to get uh, voice actors or celebrities or whatever, wrestlers, um, cosplayers, and some of the events, some cosplay conventions like Anime Expo, they'll last all night. They'll have like 20 things to do in like 24, 48 hours without it stopping. And of course, with the YouTube videos, you're not going to have many YouTube videos of uh, your local con if it's small and it's the first time it's doing it but as it go as it jacks up well as more people are involved things change people will want to get it on youtube and promote it so being a new con like i said that's is the biggest is the least important thing to me but it's the biggest thing because being a new con can affect everything else now um as far as that go, I, I don't mind trying out a new con if if uh, the things like the location and price are good for me. So that those are probably the only couple of things I look for. But generally speaking, if it's a new con, I'm probably not going to go to it if it's not like a day con. That's like a 45 minute drive or Uber. So I hope you guys understood where I'm coming from. Um, so yeah, because I really don't have much more to say on that forefront without repeating myself, but history is important, but then again, it's not important. It's not, it's not the years, but what happens as the years go on. 
if you catch my drift. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to end it here. Um, if you guys feel so compelled to donate to my GoFundMe to help send me to Anime Weekend Atlanta, feel free to check out the uh, my GoFundMe link in the description below. If you want to check out my store, my eBay store, to help support me by buying things from there, uh, message me and I'll give you a discount. Let me know that you're from YouTube and I would greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to save up for the ticket for my ticket anime weekend Atlanta right now and I'm trying to after I get off this video I'm going to try to figure out my budget and ways to save and earn more mo money so I can afford to go to anime weekend Atlanta since I have a few unexpected bills kind of knocking me off course for my budget so anyways if you happen to like this video or you're a fan of this video games or anime stuff like that feel free to check out the rest of my channel and be sure to like Comment, share, subscribe, do what you got to do, and I'll see you all in the next video. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye.